Hey everybody, welcome to another fun-filled episode of Assemble on Us, where we discuss all things tactical. On today's episode, we're going to take a look at draw considerations. Uh, that is, bringing a pistol out of a holster and presenting it onto a threat in some type of armed encounter. Whether you're law enforcement or military, private security, executive protection, armed citizen with a valid carry permit, uh, for whatever reason, you're carrying a weapon. The threat presents itself, and now we've got to get that weapon smoothly out of the holster and safely for ourselves and others out of the holster, form our grip, and get it on to the threat so that we can neutralize that threat and, uh, and save lives. So rather than me just sit up here and drone on about it, I have a nice little piece of footage um, that we shot at one of the ranges that we did for some special police officers in the D.C. area. So let's go out to the range, we'll take a look at that, and then we're going to look at some footage kind of slowed down from some of our basic intro to combat handgun courses, our special police officer training, and some other trainings that uh, Rally Point LLC has been involved with. So let's go out to the range and take a look. Right. So get this hand in here if you need to help secure something. Get a hold of your belt. If you're coming up with a grip like this, and you got rain jacket, shirt, whatever, putting the hand in here can help hold those things in place so that you get this nice and smooth out, all right? The right elbow, we want straight back as much as we can get it. If I can't the elbow, look what happens to my hand in the gun grip. Now I go to pull and start snagging on that leather. It'll come out, but it's taking time. Anything that's gonna add time is not something I want. Plus you start getting a little more frustrated. Shit, he's shooting and I'm trying to, it seems like it's taking minutes to get this thing out of the holster. So we drive it straight back like you're giving somebody an elbow shot. Bam, right here, comes straight up with it. All right. Once I have cleared it, I drop the elbow, rotate it up, I form my grip right there. It's bam, it's formed. Now, can I shoot from this position? Yes. If I need to and it's close enough, yeah, I can shoot from even from here if I need to. We'll do some close quarter stuff. Now I've got my grip formed. Now let's be All right, everybody, we've slowed this down so you can really watch the draw process. Notice how they do a really good job of indexing their fingers along the frames of the weapons and keeping those support hands out of the way until they can form their grip. Excellent job there. This individual is incorporating a turning movement and into his draw there. And this next individual, notice as he moves left, he just stumbles a little bit there. He does a nice job of recovering during his draw, but uh, important to make sure that when you're moving that you're not going to trip and fall down. All right, everybody. That'll do it for the draw. Just remember, it's really important to get that support hand. And when I say support hand, that's the non-firing hand. For right-handed people, your uh, strong side hand is your right hand, and your support side would be your left side of the body, left hand, left leg. Uh, and if you're left-handed, then obviously vice versa. Um, but one of the crucial parts of the draw is to keep that support hand in close to your body, whether it's up against here, center lined, or like I prefer to do it, to come down here a little bit lower on that belt line and help, uh, help with that draw. It's called the support hand, so let's get it busy supporting the draw. And some people are concerned about the fingertips being in proximity to the muzzle, but I don't really have a problem with that. It's already up against my body. Um, I'm just as likely to flash my leg with the muzzle as I am my fingers coming up out of the holster. As long as you're up against the body and the fingers are into the body like this, you can actually now help the draw, and the fingers aren't going to be in the way. Uh, and then once the weapon comes past, we form up our grip and we punch out onto our target. So that's it. Uh, as always, go out and seek qualified instruction before playing with guns. Don't believe everything you learn on the Internet, unless you learn it from us. Um, so that's going to do it. So keep calm and stay safe, and I will see you next time. Peace.